what's up guys the print and my fabrication is done check it out we got a freaking cannon here's the lid to the back and here's the nozzle so like I was thinking I'd make it to where you could screw on different like nozzle attachments to shoot different diameter bullets. The first one I designed was a six millimeter barrel, but whenever I tested it, it created too much back pressure and it it wouldn't even shoot the bullet. It actually just uh, relieved pressure everywhere else on my. Uh, on my cannon like inside you can see the hole where that uh, the lighter comes through let's go try it out we got uh, isopropyl alcohol just get a moderate amount in there guys you know what I'm saying this I'm a trained professional don't do this at home you see me at my house, but it's okay. I know what I'm doing. Then you gotta, you know, increase the surface area of that alcohol by rotating your chamber, shaking it around, stuff like that. Then we're gonna open it back up and introduce, what is this? Um, it's oxygen, 95% pure oxygen, guys. Um, Probably not the safest thing, but we do that around here. Dad's over there tripping. I hope it blows up this time. <laughs> Show them the safety classes you got on too. Alright, let's do this. Mega dart in the chamber. You guys ready for this? Whenever you, oh snap, wow. Whenever you click it down, it creates an arc. This is a lot less likely to ignite the fumes compared to this lighter where I can create a constant arc. So, that combined with the flexibility of this new lighter, I'm thinking I want to create a new cannon that's more ergonomic. Kind of maybe like a pistol or something. Something you can hold. Um, I mean, look, I'm holding it like this. This is pretty dope, but like, it just doesn't seem, it just doesn't seem right. So, I'll be coming at you guys soon with another alcohol cannon. It's going to be... It's going to be Alcohol Cannon V2. Look at me. You touch my tra-la-la. -la. My ding-ding-dong. 